I don't even know what to say. Dude, you gotta try it. I just got the fucking Laffy Taffy in now. This is gonna be the best drink it ever. It smells like Minute Maid. Oh, Dude, shit. Dude, it's good. It tastes just like Minute Maid. Minute Maid what? The strawberry, like the pink lemonade. I mean, it's good. I'm not hating. It's good. He's hating on my favorite drink. All right, but we just went to the dollar store. We got some Scotch Bright. We're doing the um, head gaskets today on my LS E36. And um, I got a whole new radiator set up. I got a new dipstick. We got a whole bunch of stuff to do today on the LS car. I haven't really worked on it in the last like uh, two months because I don't really know. I don't really know why I haven't been working on it. It's like, no, I've bought a whole bunch of stuff. I've just been waiting to put it all on. But um, yeah, we'll catch you when we back to the house. All right, guys, we got these LS9 head gaskets. We're about right, to open them up, spray them. We're about to hook them up, spray them, and then we're going to put them on the car. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Love you. Mom. <laughs> you good? Recording? Yeah, why are you, you looking over right there? I'm looking straight into your eyes. <laughs> you look over there. I'm Go back and watch eyes. the video. Whatever. Go. All right, guys. So, we just got back to the house. I bought some LS9 head gaskets because, you know, they're super dummy thick. Like my girl. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright guys, what's going on? We just got back to the house, so we got some LS9 head gaskets. And I just got to scotch bright the head, or the block, because it sat out in the rain a little bit. Nothing bad, I just gotta get all the little surface rust off of it. And then we're gonna copper spray the gaskets. Um, then we gotta put in this new radiator that I bought. I don't know, you know. It's a 240 radiator. We're gonna mock it up to fit in here because I didn't like the old E36 one, it was really small. And I just wanted to redo my whole setup so I don't have any overheating issues. But uh, we'll put you on time lapse. <laughs> Huh? I said people are gonna talk shit, and then I was like, actually, you don't have all that many viewers. People probably won't comment. Are you guys gonna talk shit about this anymore? Like, no, we're um we're Scotch breading right now. The block because ah! the surface rust. But um. Zach out here twerking this head up. We're gonna start with 25, then 50, then 75. Right now we're on the second sequence. There we go. Jeez, these are tight. Think about this, your crank bolt's supposed to be 250, and you're at 50 right now. Keep going, what? keep going. All right, quick little break from the LS. Got a 12 tooth uh, front sprocket instead of a 13 tooth front sprocket on my dirt bike. Hopefully that'll help the bogging issue I've been having. Uploading a couple clips of us ripping the dirt bikes in the woods. Um, I got to test out my new, my gear. new gearing. So we went one tooth smaller on the front to give us more torque. And um, it really made a big difference. And uh, if you guys don't know, this is a 1996 CR125. But um, yeah, we're gonna be going to the racetrack Sunday. So we wanted to get a little test in. All right, um, so I know it's been a long time since I updated you guys last on this motor. So me and Tyler, we got the both heads torqued down. Um, I got all the accessories and everything back on the motor. I'm just putting on the last coil pack, uh, plug wires right now. And um, Sebastian and I, made this radiator bracket um it's a little v'd in uh like the bottom is pushed towards the front a little bit just so you get a little bit more clearance between like uh the crank and everything with the fans and all in the radiator but um just got to get some uh hoses for the radiator 
And then you gotta wire up the heater core, mount the heater core, put the heater core lines on, um, throw the V-bands on, and start her up and it should be done. Alright guys, I know this video has been going on for like several days now, but um, we're back. I got the belt on. Um, I actually started the car and uh, everything's good. I just wanted to give it a day for the copper gasket spray to like fully completely dry. I don't know if you were supposed to or not, but I didn't need the car running that day, so it didn't matter. But I started the car today. Um, runs good. Lift, no lifter ticks at all. I had a slight lifter tick before. I don't know why it went away. Maybe I was low on oil somehow. I don't know. I do now finally have an oil dipstick, which I never had before. But um, first thing, I went to Advanced or AutoZone and I got this upper radiator hose. Fits perfectly. Now I just got to struggle with getting the bottom radiator hose. I got some um, 5 eighths and 3 fourths heater core lines to go to my heater core. Thank you, Quan. And um, then I also have to redo my intake because... I used to run it this way, but now since I have an upper radiator hose here, I'm not going to be able to run it to this side. I'll have to run it to that side, which isn't a big deal. Probably put my air filter somewhere around here so it'll make these wires look a little bit cleaner. But um, this side of my car looks super empty now because I used to have the expansion tank over there. But um, yeah, let's get to work. All right, so I just made my old dining intake from actually my dad's car work on this. So, because I had to redo the intake setup, I already told you guys that. So now it is going to be something like this. Just how it was before. And then now this, like this, something like this. So twist that right there. And then the intake drops right down into, right by that hole. And then it'll cover up all my wires right there. And the mass airflow plug will be underneath now. Instead of on top, it'll look a lot cleaner. But, um, and it'll be black, so it'll match the whole rest of the intake more. But I have the bottom hose figured out. So I have this, runs down, and then I just gotta get another 90 off the radiator. And then it comes straight up, and then I'll have to do a little pull, because these this size for the thermostat housing is different than the radiator hose size. So I'll just have to do a little pipe on that. Sebastian gave me one of his old air filters, so now I'll have more clearance so it doesn't hit the engine bay and it fits better and it'll get more airflow from this hole, even though it doesn't really matter that much. But uh, sick intake setup's done. Let's go install your grips, dude. Yes, let's do so. You got the grip on everything? Yeah, oh my god, geez, they feel good, dude. I like that. I mean, mine felt like shit before. So. I lost the bet and I had to buy them. Some grips. Yeah, but you got a tire, so. <laughs> I did get a tire. I'm getting this tire because the subscriber sent him a tire. Dude, these grips are fresh. As fuck. I want it turned a little bit. I like bit. that they're white. Yeah, I do too. Alright, so I just got this bottom radiator hose oh, yeah. mounted up. I'm gonna pull it out and show you guys real quick. Well, I didn't get it mounted, but I made it. So, just a piece of pipe in the middle with a 90 there, 90 there. It's ugly, but it works. I just gotta paint these brackets, which I don't have paint. Do that in another day. All right, guys, this is where I'm gonna end the video here today. Um, I know the video went on several days, and I don't know, I haven't really done much since the first video. Yeah, the question is, how tall is it? What are you doing? You're recording all the way out there? Yeah. Well, they're just playing music. Peace, guys.